Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, turn. So in this video today, I am going to talk about chemical peels and chemical exfoliation. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. I am going to categorize this video in few parts. So first is, what is chemical peel and why do you need it? So the answer is, as we age, uh, it doesn't matter we age or so, our dead skin cell kind of exfoliate away from our face within a month and if your skin cells are healthy and yeah if you have a healthy diet and if you are a teenager or if you are in your early 20s then the cell degenerating process is pretty fast and normal but as you age or because of the UV exposure more UV exposure or maybe stress or maybe your lifestyle or your age yeah if you are in your late 20s or early 30s then this uh, cell dead cell exfoliating away process kind of slows down so yeah that is the main point actually what it, what it happens that your new cell are here and your old cells are uh, uh, above it and then because of the stress or UV exposure or your age, the two cell layers kind of create a glue between them and that glue is called intercellular glue and because of the glue, it is very hard for your skin to get rid of the dead skin layer from your face. So that is the moment you need to use some kind of exfoliant because your face kind of looks dull and uh, uh, no matter what product you use it doesn't show uh, any kind of result because you are directly applying everything on your dead skin layer so there is no benefit of what you are applying or how much good product you are applying there is no benefit from it at all what are basically ex what is exfoliation basically so there are two kind of exfoliation one is physical exfoliant and another is chemical exfoliant so physical exfoliant you might know about the things they are some kind of scrubs particles uh, that you use on your face and it kind of eliminate the dead skin layer from your face but it has huge level of cons because when you use the scrub particles it creates tiny little cuts on all over your face you cannot see the cuts uh, with your bare eyes uh, you need uh, like super uh, cool microscope to see yeah my skin is damaged and through the cuts through the damages uh, numerous kind of bacteria and uh, yeah microorgans they kind of enter into your pore into your skin and uh, yeah make your skin even more dangerous and yeah more disastrous and another thing is chemical exfoliant so chemical exfoliant are mainly consist of aha bha pha lha and some enzymes uh, aha is basically alpha hydroxy acid bha is beta hydroxy acid and now you you can see in the market there are pha lha and enzymes as well and next category is what are ahs and what are bhs so aha is alpha hydroxy acid that are basically glycolic acid lactic acid mandolic acid and the glycolic acid the cellular uh, the molecular size of glycolic acid is the uh, smallest among all of them so it can penetrate deep into your skin and uh, yeah it does the magic wonders wonderfully uh, just like the uh, five percent glycolic acid from pixie glow tonic or there are like um, i have this aha toner that is from dot and key and it is a may product it did not work for me and yeah if you have dry skin so yeah who can use aha if you have basically dry skin so that literally means your cell dead cell exfoliation away routine takes time and it cannot uh, uh, yeah it cannot be done in a healthy way so if you have dry skin then you need to use AHA because AHA will kind of eliminate all the dead skin layer from your face and it will bring back all your new cells on the upper portion of your face and you will left with healthy and yeah new generated uh, cells and then 
let's talk about what are BHAs. So BHA is basically your salicylic acid. If you have oily acne prone skin, so that is that that literally means your skin, your pore produces more oil. So the, you need something that can clean the oil because your basic face wash, uh, your basic oil oil cleanser is basically it is not enough to eliminate the oil from your pores into your pores so that is the moment you need to use BHS so I have some BHS just like this uh, BHA blackhead power liquid from Cosrx this is an excellent product if you have oily skin and if you want to try some chemical exfoliant for for like this is a product for beginners so if you are a beginner if you and you are thinking of trying a BHA and if you have oily acne prone skin then this thing is for you and BHA as it works mainly into your pore and kind of clean away your pore so it does not make your skin sensitive to the sun but AHA it kind of remove the dead skin cell from your face and it kind of eliminate the intercircular glue uh, between your fresh cell and your dead cell so it kind of makes your skin to uh, yeah it it, it makes your skin sensitive to the sun so if you are using AHA it is very important to you to use the sunscreen to use sunscreen in the very next day and decent amount sunscreen I mean half a teaspoon of sunscreen for your face and neck and if you are using AHA for the rest of your parts like if you are using AHA for your bumps or uh, for your another body parts then you need to use sunscreen in that area too now let's talk about PHA so PHA is the mildest version of AHA and I have a PHA toner and that is from minimalist this is the PHA toner PHA 3% plus biotic toner so yeah they this is kind of an uh, yeah this is kind of an every uh, little description about what is AHA what is PHA and what is PHA now how often should you really need to use chemical exfoliant so if you are in your early 20s like me you you can use chemical peels yeah you can use the uh, pha or a aha toners once a week but you can use chemical peels i have a chemical peel from uh, dot and key and this is the 10 percent h and 2 percent bha um, exfoliating serum so you can use this kind of peels uh, once a month or once in a two month uh, don't use it once a week this kind of pills because they are strong if you're a beginner and if you are in your uh, late uh, 20s or early 30s you can use uh, chemical pills for uh, once a month or maybe twice a month depending on your skin and uh, yeah your skin type and now what uh, what is the thing you need to I mean what are the products that you need to do uh, when you do the chemical pills first do not I repeat I'm repeating this okay just do not do any kind of chemical peels or chemical toners in the daytime because they can make they can like make your skin more sensitive and uh, it can cause symptoms like burning itching itching of the skin you, you may not see the uh, disaster uh, in the like in that very moment but you can see the disaster after a week or after a month and it will basically make your skin more sensitive than yeah than ever so do not just do 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 don't do do don't do, do, just don't don't do this in the daytime second what products you need to use after your peels so you can don't just do not use vitamin c based creams or serums uh, niacinamide uh, sorry uh, vitamin c retinol retinoids uh, then uh, yeah uh, another kind of uh, some HS or BHA or exfoliant just don't try this and do, don't scrub your face in that day if you are using these things just use some basic moisturizers or basic serums just like uh, uh, ceramides or you can use hyaluronic acid or you can use niacinamide based serum or you can use centella asiatica that uh, the I mean you can use products that has calming and cooling ingredients and that are safe to use for any day if you are seeing this video for the first time or if you are thinking uh, what is chemical exfoliation and you are thinking like eh, I don't want it I do scrubs my skin is even more beautiful I don't need to do this then let me tell you something uh, chemical exfoliation can make your skin away from hyperpigmentation you can get rid of your old very old hyperpigmentation or it can basically even out your skin tone because as your dead skin cells and your pores are getting clay get, getting 
cleaned so basically your skin is healthy after yeah after a month or your skin is become healthier so your skin is even toned now and there is no kind of hyperpigmentation on your face if, if you do it in a continuous way and in a right way obviously and then some like the glycolic acid it can kind of penetrate it, it, it penetrates deep into your skin and it can make your skin more firm and brighter and uh, yeah it can do this kind of jobs and uh, if you have severe blackheads then using BHA can get yourself uh, get you rid of the manually blackhead removing technique uh, that you do yeah so BHA can clean your pores so they are if your pores are clean there is no kind of acne on your face there is no problem such as whiteheads blackheads or sebaceous filaments there are nothing like this but it is very important for you to choose what what kind of chemical pills you need to use and if you are a beginner then it is it is even more important for you to start to start with a right product i have been doing chemical exfoliation for i think for a month close to a month i mean close to a year so this is the products that i used initially i used the the dot and key uh, peel uh, and i started to, uh, with a beginner and i it it did not give me any kind of breakouts yeah i see kind of purging because it is very normal to have purging after using chemical exfoliant especially bha because it is cleaning your pore from the inside and it is uh, like collecting all your old gunk and dirt and it is uh, like uh, placing the dirt on your surface of the skin and basically it is cleaning your pore so yeah and did i to tell you that uh, bha are oil soluble and your pores produce uh, produce oil so oil attracts oil and aha are water soluble so it basically uh, it it then it very gently remove uh, removes all the dead skin cell from your it kind of melts all your dead skin layer the aha hey guys so it is the demo part so if you are using chemical peels, it is very important for you to protect your lips and your under eyes. You can use Vaseline or any kind of lip balms for your lips and as well as any kind of uh, normal moisturizer under your eyes as I am a pro kind of. So I am not using anything under my eyes but I am using a Vaseline for my lips. And now I uh, like wash your face really nicely uh, i have done a double cleanse and i used this dhc deep cleansing oil as my first cleanser and then again i used this uh, dhc face wash powder as my second cleanser and i just love this combo so much and after uh, done with these things uh, first let your face dry completely like completely dry your face make sure there are no kind of trace of waters or anything because if the peel comes con contact with the water it does not work really greatly or properly so don't use water and now uh, you can see like i have used i guess this much has left and i use more than half of it already and uh, it, I'm not going to review this yeah just let me tell you it has a sticky feeling and it almost smells like fruit some kind of fruit it is a chemical peel so just do not use it more than 10 minutes or you can use it up to 9 minutes but just do not leave it for more than a minute I mean 10 minutes okay and I'm kind of dropping it on my face and then you know what let me check the time right now yeah it's 10 46 right now obviously at night and don't do this kind of pills in the daytime because it can make your skin more sensitive to the Sun and yeah I think yeah as you can see like I you know what you don't need uh, this thing on your for your lips too i mean for your upper lips too you just don't need, need this and don't uh, 
rub it, rub it so harshly as you can see I am using only one finger and now it is done you can apply it in your neck area too if you if you are seeing that your neck is uh, getting wrinkle marks or uh, you you get you got tan on your wrinkles and uh, after that it you feel kind of a tingly sensation and it's totally normal and now I am going to wait for straight up nine minutes or nine and a half minutes and after washing it off I'll be right back and for washing uh, this you only need water and nothing else just plain water and I'll be right back uh, after I think after nine and a half minutes I wash my face and my uh, I wash it with plain cold normal water and my face is feeling so soft and yeah it you know after a chemical peel it literally feels like I I scrub my face with a physical exfoliator and my skin became so smooth but no it is not I mean I don't like harsh things for my face I like gentle things and chemical peeling is literally gentle and effective now let's do the skincare so for the skincare I am not going to use any kind of serums I I am gonna use uh, some hydrating and gentle and soothing products uh, I'm using this keep cool toner and then I am I'm gonna use the advanced nail 96 mucin and as a moisturizer I'm gonna use minimalist ceramide uh, 0.3 uh, for oily skin version uh, moisturizer and that's it uh, that's all for today and I really wanted to tell you something else and it is not uh, about this topic so if you are done watching the video you can uh, skip this part too and yeah uh, the thing is uh, boys especially boys often ask me uh, what, like my videos and my recommendations are girl friendly they are not boy friendly and uh, that's why I want to tell you one thing that it doesn't matter what I am telling you if it is not a makeup video that means the things I tell you guys here are unisexual it doesn't matter if you are a boy or girl you need to use sunscreen it doesn't matter if you are a boy or girl you need to use moisturizers serums uh, because boys have skin concerns too even boys have more skin concerns that than girls so if you if a boy have acne use use salicylic acid and don't think that it is a girl thing and I don't want to use this no you are wrong you are you are just wrong if if you can make your skin healthier then why should you not do this just do this and my videos are unisexual so that means you are a boy if you are a boy or girl it doesn't matter you can use the products you can use the shampoos uh, if you are like I'm not saying this but if you like my makeup then you can try the makeup like come on guys it is 2022 so it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl uh, even if a boy wanted to try yeah if a boy wants to try makeup he can try this it's it's up to him what he he wants to do and it is up to him and if something can give someone confidence then like who are we to stop him do what what you want to do if you want to do makeup then do it who is stopping you like just do it and if you want to do skincare and I don't know why I think boys don't get that they need to do skincare too like boys don't you think you have skin concerns too yeah you have skin concerns right so you need to do skincare so stop asking me the questions uh, uh, suggest to me something about boys uh, a boy can use there are no products for boys or girls the products are made for everyone uh, but some products are not made for child children just like the peels it is not made for children so yeah I think that's all for today stop asking me the questions what I can use from for my face you can use anything that you want it doesn't matter if it's makeup or skincare or it it, it, it just does not matter use what you want to do and my uh, my recommendations are unisexual it doesn't matter who you are if you want to use it just use it it is not only meant for girls okay it is not only meant for girls yeah that's all so i'll see you guys in the next video bye